us in song today. I don't have my microphone on me, but that's okay. That, no, it's all right. I, I don't need it today. First song was what I needed for us to sing today. I didn't ask Dan, but that was what I needed to hear. Uh, the first verse says, Sometimes I feel discouraged and think my life in pain. I'm tempted then to murmur and of my lot complain. When I think of Jesus and all He's done for me, Amen. then I cry, O oh, rock of ages, hide now me. And that was uh, my song for this week. It was my song for this week. Um, the Word of God says in James 5, it says, Confess your faults one to another. Pray for one another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent of prayer of a righteous man avails much. And it, it doesn't say that all of our prayers are for the sick and for the afflicted and things like that. I'm not sick and I'm not afflicted. But I have faults. I have faults. And uh, earlier this week, I was confronted with the a fault that I believe is was mine and mine alone. It's nothing to do with my family, nothing to do with I'm not out drinking or anything like that. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. That's not even an issue. Nothing like that. But I left Sunday night. I left Sunday night and I I owe an apology to those that were here Sunday night for the meeting for our youth. I, I shouldn't say some of the things I said in that meeting and you may not even know what I shouldn't have said but I was frustrated and I was disgusted and so I had a big party on Monday and of course God gets a hold of you and, and that's where we go we go and rest in the Lord I was blessed to be able to go see my father-in-law I haven't seen him in about a year I have to visit with him it was good. It was good. And I rested and I read the scriptures, thought about them, prayed over them. And uh, God showed me some things. Talked to some brothers in Christ that I love dearly. Gave me good advice. But as I thought about this week, I thought about what, what I need to say and what I need to do what needs to occur. The first thing that that I come to was James 5, 16. Confess your faults. Confess your faults. To me, my fault is very clear. The problem is very obvious. I'm, I've been here over six years. And I've not been able to do what I feel needs to be done. I haven't been able to convey what needs to be conveyed. And, and that's, that is a fault. That is a problem. I, you know I love the Lord. I love you. You know that. You know that. If you don't know that, you're not spending time with me. You know I love you. And I, I want nothing but the best for this church and this community. But I have to say that I have failed and imparting the vision that God has given me for this church. It's just not caught on. It's not caught on. It's not caught on. Anywhere I go, I want to not only build a, a church that is stronger and, and greater and more passionate about the Lord Jesus, but a church that is on the move for the Lord Jesus. Listen, I, we cannot fool ourselves. Listen carefully, very carefully, very carefully. If we're not on the move for Jesus, we really don't care about Jesus. Because Jesus is on the move. The Holy Spirit is about a word. It's not, a, it's not always about a feeling. Feelings are good and they have their place and they have their time, but it's about a word. It's about a word. 
to the Word, to the Word, uh, to songs written about it. The Word of God talks about it. it it's, it's everywhere. It's complete in our life. And, and I, I, was, I feel like my, the vision that God gave me here was to impact the community and see uh, that our, our youth and our, our, our kids grow in a community that is pushing closer to God. And our world is pushing away from God. We know that. We see that. The evidence is replete around us. But just because the world is doesn't mean Bethel has to fall of that. Doesn't mean Ryzen has to fall of that. Doesn't mean that our, our county has to fall the same way. It does not mean that at all. Doesn't mean that at all. And so if I, if I can say what I believe, I believe is that I have not conveyed the mission that God has given me as it needs to be conveyed because we've not caught on as a church. We've not caught on as a church. To take the gospel to the least of these my brethren. That's what Jesus said. The least, of my, the least of these my brethren, you've done it unto me. If you So Paul wrote in 1 Thessalonians 5, 22, very simple, very simple, very short. As he finished up the letter, he said, pray for us. What did he finish with? Pray for us. <coughs> Brethren, pray for us. And so I, I want that today. Yeah. I need that today. I, I've not passed on my desire to, to see our, our kids saved. I've not passed on the desire to see our school worked in and, and this community stirred for the gospel. Jesus Christ. I'm not passing on. And it's my fault. It's, it's where it rests. It's a thing. It's a thing. I can't put it on anybody else but myself. <coughs> so I failed. I failed. I'm not here to resign unless you ask me to resign. Nothing of that nature. But I need prayers. I need prayer so that God will reveal to me how He wants me to get this across. And how He wants me to, to lead this church to make an impact. Our 
already is the evidence is there. John, there's no evidence. Yes, there is. There's suicides every year. Kids cutting themselves and mutilating themselves and destroying their lives all the time. In this community, it's there. It's coming. I'm not telling you it's not. I'm not telling you it's not coming. It's coming. It is coming. Here. Here. Not elsewhere. Here. And maybe because of this group over there or that group over there, you cannot lay it at the feet of anyone else. I can only lay it simply at myself and say, I've not passed it on. I'm, I'm failed. And I don't, I'm not good with failure. I hate it. I hate it. But I don't know what else to say today. Except I need your prayers today. So that God would press upon me a direction, a message, a line of thought. Because we need it. We need it as a church. We need it as a community. More than you know. I, I say this that of all the churches in this community, we do the most outreach for this community. We do. And everything that goes on, I, I've said that before, we need to be involved in the community. And we do. There's so, so many of you spend hour after hour in the community. And that's good. It's so good. It's so good. And I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to downgrade anybody who does that. Nobody who nobody who, who who's working hard to do that. And I know some of some of us, some of you have stretched to the limit. And I'm not asking you to stretch past the limit. I'm not asking. That. I'm not asking. But there, there's, there's things that need to be done. Positions that need to be filled. And they're not going to be filled. They're not going to be filled. I have not done that. So, uh, so let's, let's close the service like this. If you would, let's pray.